welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video we're going to be comparing the Distress Foam Blender with the new Distress Blender brushes. Now here is a page, two pages I did. I used the Distress Oxide inks on both pages. And on this page I used the foam applicator and on this page I used the brush. Now, first off, I just want to say I now only use the round applicators. You can also get them in the original rectangle, but I prefer to use the round ones. And when we look at the two, what I did was I put the ink through a stencil, and then when I brought the stencil up, I filled in the space with the color. So you, I had the dark ink and the light ink. And you'll notice that this page is darker all around, and it's because the ink gets in the foam and will hold, the foam will hold a lot more ink. So when you put it down, there's a lot more ink uh, being let off. Whereas the brush, it doesn't, even though there's color there, it doesn't absorb into the brushes. So we're going to turn the page and do a little side-by-side -side demo. Oh yeah, and I just want to mention that I'm using the Dina Wakely journal here. And this is on a cotton paper that we're working on. And it hasn't been treated um, with any gesso or that. It's the straight up paper. So here I started. This one is with the um, foam. So I'm gonna do the purple again. I'm using Wilted Violet. And I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm just going to lightly. So you can see even though I'm really light, because the ink is on that foam, we have a fair amount of ink. And then when I do it darker, I can really get the ink. Now the one thing with the foam, especially if you're pressing down hard, you'll see here little bits of the foam will come off. So say when you go through a stencil that I happen to have here, I think it's called like tattered lace or something from um, Crafters Workshop. I'll put a link to it. And you can see that there's all these little ridges. And so sometimes if you're using the foam with a stencil, then it'll um, catch on all those little ridges. So there I did it quite firm and then I'll just try and brush over it lightly. And so you can see dark and light with the stencil. So on this side, here's my brush. We pull this off, pull this down. We're going to start with it this in uh, the down position. And you brush your ink on, and then I'm going to go light. Now because of the brushes, I can get a really light just a hint of color on there. Now you may have a couple little brush pieces come off, but they can be wiped away. Now the thing I like about this too is that you can work quite quickly. I can like quickly brush on any which way I want a ton of color. Well, not a ton, but it's a nice lighting, so light uh, layer of color. However, if I wanted it darker, you move this down. It doesn't stay in place. You have to hold it with your fingers. But I can go back in and then I can get it darker. But if I'm going darker, it will take a lot longer. So if you want that really dark color, then the foam applicator is the quicker and easier way to do it versus this. I find the brush is really great for the light to medium. I'll bring my stencil over again. And so it's great with stencils because you don't have your bristles getting caught in all those little um, sharp points there that can snag in with your foam. So there's sort of that and I can 
put this down. You also have to keep going back and getting more ink on because as I mentioned, the bristles don't hold the ink. So if you see here, we have that really dark, whereas this is a lot lighter. Now when it comes to blending, I'll just bring in some pink. I'm using picked raspberry. Now because the stress oxide inks are really great for blending, it's quite easy you know, to blend with either one of them. I can put this right over top. We can have a nice blend. So the foam is great. I can get a nice fair amount of color if you want that heavier coat of color fairly quickly. And then we'll go in with our brush. The other thing I like about the brush is that you can put it, um, you can go this way, that way, whichever way, and it'll always blend out. You're never going to get that, that sharp line, say if you're using the rectangle blend, and a lot of times you'll get that line when you're blending. With the brush, it just goes, you can go any way and you won't get that sharp line. So you can see the difference between the heavier application, the lighter application on this side. So that is what I find the difference. They're great for a nice lighter application and they're great to use with stencils. And then I find the foam is great if you want a darker application. So I don't think one is better than the other. I think each tool has its own purposes and you have to decide is it a tool that can benefit you in what you are creating. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.